Well, it's that time of the year again. Time for the Minecraft mob vote for Minecraft Live. In this video, we're going to break down what we know so far about all three mobs in this coming mob vote. So, let's get started with the crab. So as you can see, crabs can be found in mangrove swamps, and they have a chance of dropping this. Well, not this exactly, but they have a chance of dropping a crab claw. Now, the use of the crab claw is great for builders, as it allows you to extend your reach when placing and breaking blocks. Now, as far as we know, we don't know how far, so it could be one block, it could be five blocks, but that information will definitely determine whether or not this mob is worth it. Also, we don't know how it would work. Will it go in our offhand? Would we load it in like a shulker box? Would there be a new glove spot? Kind of like the trinkets mod? I don't know. But regardless, it is a very, very good and excellent choice. Again, very, very cute as well. I do believe the crab has a good chance at winning. Now moving on to the armadillo. As you can see, another very, very good choice for this year's mob vote, and it brings in something that Minecraft players have been wanting for years now, and that is wolf armor, which is very, very exciting. So what we know so far is that the armadillo will drop scoots, very similar to the turtle. And with those scoots, you can make a piece of armor, very similar again to the turtle. But this time it is for your pet. So very, very, very cool. And these little guys will end up spawning in the savanna biome. So it's very, very exciting. I do believe that the armadillo has a good shot at winning this mob vote. And last but not least, the mob that was revealed to us yesterday, the penguin. The penguin is a clumsy yet friendly mob that spawns in the stony shore biomes. And while they may be clumsy on land, they are very efficient in the water and even capable of increasing the speed of your boat. I honestly believe this one will be the cutest of the three mobs, which is also why I feel like this will also have a good chance at winning the mob vote. Now, as far as the selection goes on this mob vote, I think these selections are very safe. I don't look at any one mob and think that they are useless. In the past, we've had at least one or two mobs that you could just tell were clear losers, like the Glare, the Rascal, the Glow Squid. Those were kind of just, eh. some made it into the game, but some didn't. But this year's mob vote, I feel is the only one that's pretty safe. Like, I wouldn't be upset if any of them got added. I feel like everyone will be happy with any other mob. What do you guys think? Which one are you going to vote for? And which one do you really dislike? Me personally, I kind of hope for the armadillo. It's such an odd mob, and I can't wait to see what the wolf armor would look like. But with that being said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton knowing you are enjoying this content, thus further encouraging me to create more content like that. But with this being said, you have a great day and be safe out there.